Hey guys, I'm Ilan with Tupelo Beats and today I want to take a look at a really new plugin called The Sauce. This is a vocal plugin, it has a lot of modules, it has reverb, it has saturation, compression and I want to test it out on my vocal bus. I hope that you enjoyed this video, if you do, please subscribe, hit that like button, let's get into it. This is The Sauce plugin, I've been using it for around a week I think and it ended up on quite a few of my mixes. I think that this is a nice plugin and and I want to show you how I've been using it. The interface is really simple and that's what I like. We have flavor, spice, sugar, multiband, spread, drip, squeeze, smoke and a master section. I will show you what every single section does. Now let me play with the track. I have the sauce inserted on the main vocal bus. Let's go through the individual sections and see what they do. With flavor, we have pitch and format uh, shifting. This is 100% wet. <laughs> so, really nice in adding some texture behind the vocals. Spice is saturation and we have two different modes, mild and hot. I've been using the mild quite a lot because it's really subtle and it lifts the, the vocals up. The hot is a really obvious distortion. And I've been using it really subtle, not more than 10%, just a touch goes a long way. Next is sugar, this one is probably my favorite. Sweet is chorus, sour, flanger, and with sweet you can achieve some really nice wide vocals. Hey, pay for your what the fuck you thought this is? Put that up, God. Keep moving like a clown. You're gonna lose. Keep moving like a clown. Keep moving like a clown. You're gonna lose. Yeah. You ain't but your mouth up. Hey, pay for your own. What the fuck you thought this is? Put that up, God. Next we have drip, a pretty basic delay but it sounds good. Keep moving like a clown. Then we have squeeze with two different flavors of compression. Most of the time I've been using the dab and we also have pump. So pump is really nice when you want those upfront in your face vocals. With smoke we have reverb, small, medium and large. Spread. On the master section we have high pass, low pass and we can switch from out and mix so we can get a bit more aggressive with the processing and dial it back via the mix knob. We also have 
the Q, which engages a small resonant bump in the EQ. Pretty nice feature if you're trying to cut, but also add some body to the vocals. You ain't pushing my will, ay, pay for your own. What the fuck it up, this is? Put that up, God. Keep moving like a clown. You're the now let me play with the track with and without the sauce. You ain't pushing my will, ay, pay for your own. What the fuck it up, this is? Another great thing about this plugin is that it's multiband, so you can use it to sculpt the vocals in some really interesting way. For example, if you want the top end to be brighter and if you want the top end to be a bit wider, you can do that by just engaging the multiband, selecting the frequencies. And you can add some saturation to make the vocals brighter. So you have a lot of versatility when it comes to processing with uh, this plugin. You can add reverb or delays just to the top end. You can make the bottom end more heavy by adding some distortion. And I think this plugin can be used on other sources than vocals. For me, this plugin is a really cool vocal bass finisher. You can add some really nice subtle saturation. You can make the vocals a bit wider, add just a touch of reverb to put the vocals in a space, add some delay to make them more interesting. That's how I've been using it in the past week. This was the sauce. I really enjoyed this plugin. I've used it on a couple of mixes on the vocal bus. It brings out some nice character and some nice texture for the vocals. I will have a link in the description for the plugin. Check it out. Thanks for the support and see you guys really soon. Cheers.